You've just uh, facilitated a, a lovely workshop for the four young composers at the festival this year. Um, I thought you might tell us a little bit about your approach to, uh, to running um, what is quite a short one, an hour and 20 minutes forum yeah. for four composers. It was very concise and I knew if we were going to get the most out of it for the composers and for the quartets, we had to really be efficient in our use of time. So, you know, the hour and a half divided up into just 22 minutes with a bit of preamble at the start. I didn't want to get in there myself at all. So I thought, you know, we, we managed to rearrange the stage so that the quartet were set back. The composer could sit beside me at the side. So actually the audience could, could hear everything because sometimes you get the, uh, the composer sitting at the front and nobody behind them hears a thing, you know. So that was trying to be practical in terms of space and then practical in terms of time. I didn't want each quartet to be played right through and then talk about it because, you know, there's a big chunk gone of your time already. So we just divided each quartet into two or three bits uh, and then we would talk about it and try and keep the, the points very pertinent and not about... You know, those nasty little details that sometimes just get in the way, like, you know, what do you want to do with this piece of articulation? Or, you know, the nitty-gritty, which would really be best done in, in a proper rehearsal. I wanted to try and get a sense of a rehearsal taking place, but, but not too in-depth, if you understand, so we could, we could do something manageable. So I think that's what we did. And um, there, was a, there was a certain amount of shape put on, um, on the submissions to the, to the competition, wasn't there? Well, yes, I mean, I felt, I told Francis this actually rightly or wrongly, I, I personally feel that's a hindrance. Um, although, to be fair, these four composers, uh, these pieces we heard, it didn't seem to be a hindrance to them at all. Do you want to explain just what it was? Uh, yeah, they had to use one or two tunes from the Bunting collection of folk tunes. And uh, I know from some of the other submissions that didn't make it into this last four that it was definitely uh, a, a problem. It's a problem to get your voice through that, that barrier of somebody else's material. And that's not, you know, not for everybody, but it just means that rather than submit a five-minute quartet, you have to submit a five-minute quartet, which has this, you know, as part of it. And I thought these four, four composers did wonderfully well to absorb whatever tunes they'd chosen into their own personal style, because I felt that we had four very distinctive, very confident pieces of music. And as I said at the end, I was really um, delighted that we have, you know, four young composers, all in their 20s, I presume, who uh, don't seem to be under the influence of any particular school or movement. And it's just, I mean, I think Ireland has always been a bit like that anyway. Uh, the generation between them and me, I think, is a, is a little more sort of herd mentality in a way actually it's not everybody a few composers you know but they, it was lovely just to see uh four very distinctive consonant voices and of course the performers you might like to say a little bit about the the quartets that they i thought they were them. all fabulous uh, i have to say they all came totally prepared felt like the music was completely under their fingers there was no faffing around with, I mean, you know what it's like, you go to workshops sometimes, I've been to workshops where the ensemble is reading the music for the first time, and, you know, nobody gets anything out of it, apart from, you know, the ensemble getting a run through. They all came, they were all totally prepared, it was super, it really was. Lovely, thank you so much, thank you. That's all.